please. Thanks. All right, Manji. All right. Oh. <laughs> Sport Club. Thirty. Yeah. Oh, cool, fab. Thanks. I'll, uh, I'll pay you back. I'm gonna get some mm. cash in my cash bag. Helen to the barbecue. Bloody hell, you done that for? Oh, yeah, relax, she won't come. Oh, hey, yeah? That's not the point. Hello, babe. What if she does? Right, darling. She's a human being. No, well, she ain't. She's a freak. Shh, 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 shh. You found yourself a motor? Yeah, Sid. Sid? Sid. Sid. Have we give Sid an invite? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, I did talk to him about it, but... Look, I've sent out that many. Yeah, well, make sure he gets one. Oh, uh, the governor. We're going to invite us. Bless him. He's barking. Well, she's a very nice lady. Oh, yeah, and I'm Mary Poppins. Well, you invite her and you will be on your own with her, mate, I'm telling you. Because I should be down the North Star with every bleeding body else we've invited. You ever thought about applying for the chairmanship of the United Nations, have you, eh? Because you're wasted here. I've got a bus to drive. Yeah. See you, babes. Oh, you bringing your boyfriend? Yeah, yes. I I've not mentioned it to him yet, but he yeah, he'll... Yes, I'm sure he'll be there. So it's a, um, party full of just bus drivers. And their friends. I'm not sure I'd have that much to say to a bunch of bus drivers. You would if you drank enough. Well, do I want to drink with a load of bus drivers? Well, we don't have to stay very long. We don't have to go at all. It's just she invited me and I don't want to it's see... It's fine. Him. We'll go. <laughs> Look. I'm not frigid. I'm just nervous. After last time. And with you and Tanya so recently. Jane, it's fine. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't speak to me. OK. It wasn't while they were in Corfu. Uh, what wasn't? And she got pregnant. It's due in three weeks' time. They must have been doing it for months. Really? Well, they are married. Yeah, but they don't do anything. Well, they're not supposed to do anything. It must be difficult. What must? Having an affair when you're married to someone and not doing anything with them. Don't sympathise with him. Wouldn't it arouse suspicion if he didn't? What? You mean you think he's doing it for my benefit? No, not exactly. Good, cos not even I'm that bloody thick. Did that photograph arrive? Yeah, it did. He's a grand fella. It's a shame you can't do something with your hair. Mum, I've got to go. I'm due out in two minutes. All right, love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Until next time. I'm not kidding. Only yourself, love. Oh, you're a cocky blazer. Why are you suddenly going all moral about it? I think it's good to know when to stop. That's what this part is for. I'm reaffirming my commitment to Dave. You told him? Don't be clever. Well, I think you're making a mistake. Do you? Well, it doesn't harm no one, does it? Yeah, well. These things have a habit of getting found out. Not necessarily. I, I don't want to risk it no more. Well, I think that's a shame. You couldn't give a toss. Why would you assume that? Oh, you're very sweet. Yeah, and you're kidding yourself. One minute he's talking about us buying house together in Swindon. The next he's talking about what colour is painted nursery walls. Is it get Karen? Is he having me on? He's probably having himself on as much as anyone. 
It probably means it when he says it. Only trouble is, it sounds like he doesn't know what he wants from one minute to the next. Why aren't he making up his mind? He wants to have his cake and eat it. Do you think so? And you're letting him. And if it did come to the crunch, he'll probably stay with her because it's easier. What are you going to do? Can I come to this barbecue with you? Hey, what about that, then, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, Mandy give it to us for Christmas. Yeah, it suits you. Yeah, you think she's trying to tell you something? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Right, thanks. You're very welcome. I want to keep tabs on her, cos she drinks like a bloody fish. Oh, shut up. If you don't want her falling on her arse, she'll damage your floorboards. <laughs> Non-stop. He thinks it's funny. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. It's all wank when he's finished. Right from there. She starts farting. <laughs> say, morning, noon and night. Do you fancy helping Dave with the barbecue for me, Barry? Yeah, can do. Right. Take those outside for me, will you? Driving me up the wall, he is. Yeah, yeah. Is he? It's criminal. You bring him up lovely, give him everything you've never had, and then what do the little bastards do? Get divorced and move back in, you? <laughs> opportunity to mix with the hoi polloi occasionally. Well, should I why? Yeah, you should, you snob. Very nice. Who is that? Oh, remember, we don't have to stay long. We're just here to show our faces, all right? All right. an analysis of the inner dynamics of bourgeois society. The industrial working class has never fulfilled that revolutionary role that Marx attributed to it. No, no, no. This is oh. Rachel. Hi. No, no, no. Listen, I'm telling you. M3, M27, A31. No, 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 no. M3, M27, A338. Not to get on the A3409. Yeah, well, who wants to go on the A3409? What are you going to bore me for? I'm not. I, I just said I know someone who used to live there. Ever since I started, he's been such a bastard. I should make an official complaint about him. I will if he does out else. It's him there, that one. <laughs> you don't know his name, do you? No. I mean, you never know what you're doing from one day to the next. We made all these plans. What they worth? He told me that he'd finished with her before he even met me. And that was three years ago. You've been used. No, I haven't. I don't blame him. It's difficult for him. Well, that may well be, but you still used her. Believe me, I know. I've been in that position myself. You have? Have you? Yeah. When? Very recently, I was seeing this older woman. And then she just decided that was that. You know, decided to stay with her husband. Really? I mean, I haven't got over it yet. People say you should just move on, but it's difficult, you know? Yeah, it must be. I was gutted. I still am. My brother says, you know, go out, find someone else, shag him, get her out of your system. I'm not that sort of bloke. No. Aren't you? That top really suits you. <clears throat> you weren't going to invite me, was you? Oh, Sid, don't start it. Dave hadn't have gone and. Where's Cheryl? Don't know. Toilet. Oh, she's a very nice lady. Yeah, well, she's not as nice as you. Sid. You kill me, you do. You don't know what it's like knowing everybody else in the garage has been invited and you're the one pillar that hasn't. Yeah, well, you're here now. And for your information, I didn't invite Steve Heaney either. Mandy, look at me. If I leave Cheryl, will you leave Dave? 
Oh, you are so pissed. I mean it. This is not the right place or time. It is for me. Look, Sid, I'm sorry, but I don't think we should do it anymore. What? I'm getting scared. I want it to stop. You're joking. Can we talk about this later? Tomorrow? Next week? Not now. You're joking. It was just a stupid bit of fun. Not to me. It was never that to me. You know it was never just that to me. Sid. Is he boring you? Come on, I need another drink. <laughs> I've never stopped thinking about you. All the time. Ever since Manchester. Jane. It's true. Well, you've never been far from my thoughts either. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Let's go home. Okay. <laughs> Where's Karen? Stevie is shagging some bin up in your bedroom. In our bedroom? Who's he shagging? Well, I don't know. Do you want me to go back up there and ask him? Let's go. Yeah, well, I'm not having him or anyone else. A little turd. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Cheeky bastard. Cheeky son. <laughs> what the <laughs> bloody hell do you think you're doing? This room is out of bounds. And who the bloody hell's she? Just, just keep your hair on, yeah? I mean, we don't mind people leaving their coats in there, do we? You but... bloody filthy git. You bloody little animal. You need your balls chopping off a rusty fret saw, you do. Yeah, and I didn't do it. Get, get, get out of here. Calm down, calm down. 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 Calm What's going on? What's he done on purpose, Mandy? In here? With her? Spoiling the party on purpose? No, no, no. That's not what you meant. What else would I have meant? Yeah, you tell me. Get out of here. Ow! Not you. Not you. You've been doing it with him. Can I just say that? Nothing. You say nothing. Well, deny it then. When? Where? I'm in here. No. You're in Fireworks. 
watch you out of this house. Yeah, but not tonight, yeah, eh? Yeah, tonight. Dave! Now, you can gather up all your little bits and pieces and you're pissed off. We'll get on with it. This is my house too. You just forfeited everything, my love. Dave! You get down and you fuck off! Cos I'm gonna knock your bloody head off! We do things like argue about what's on the telly or whether to go to the pub or not bother or whether you're going to come to any more bus drivers social events with me ever again. Dinner. <laughs> Poor Steve. Poor Dave. Poor Mandy, what a pillow. <laughs> 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 Well, 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 look who's here. I heard you was thinking about reporting me to the governor. Now, I think that would be a very bad move in oh so many ways. Do you understand, sweetheart? Splitting headache and a sore throat. I think I must been doing a lot of screaming. Do you want a cup of tea? I want treatment. I want my head examined. Come on. What are you gonna do? Oh, I don't know. You can't sleep in there. Tell me about it. I'm sorry. About Karen. Oh, you brought her, did you? She'd have me upset with a boyfriend. Well, I say boyfriend. Good morning. Oh, God. The governor wants to see you, Mandy, darling. The governor? As soon as you like. As soon as she's finished bollocking your little boyfriend. Pardon? Steve. Lost his module again. Fourth time. Plonker. You want to come back in a couple of minutes? Why does she want to see me? Who knows? Maybe she don't like people sleeping in the bogs. How does she know? She never goes in them. Little bird must have told her. Fat bitch. Come on, let's go and get a cup of tea. You know, last night, I told her that that Barry bloke's been bothering me. Barry has? Every time I see him, he says something. Nasty, stupid to me. And I told her last night, I said I was going to report him. And she's gone and bloody told him. She's his mum, you silly sod. Didn't you know? She could shove it, her fat ass, and swivel! Oh, dear, oh dear. Yeah, and you, you mad old bag. Flattery will get you everywhere, Stevie boy. Sod off. What's happened? McLean's just sacked me. He was warned enough times. She's ready when you are, Mandy. Go 
governor's just sacked me. Oh, dear. Morning. Morning. Thanks, Lily. Next. I want my module, please. really gonna walk away. You walk away now and you're asking to get treated like rubbish forever by somebody with the same IQ as a banana. Don't kid yourself that you're rising above it, cos you're not. You'll be dwelling on it all week just because you don't open your gob and stick up for yourself. Which is fine by me, because I won't be here. I'll be sunbathing in the Bahamas. to make an appointment, please. To see the governor. Soon as you like.